My wife and I moved to an apartment with a small garden. It's nice, and it could use some improvement. We want to turn it into a space where birds and butterflies can find a meal and shelter. So please join me as I try to design the perfect garden and give you guidelines on how you can design your own. Step one in the garden design process is to write down what you want. There are a few bird-friendly benefits that you can build into your garden. Examples include food, like berries or seeds, water, like in a bird bath. You can include shelter, like in a dense hedge or a tall tree with leafy branches. And one I heard about recently is nesting material, but all of those help birds. We talked about our preferences and came up with this. The garden should have flowers that attract butterflies, bonus points if the flowers smell nice, it should not make food that attracts mice, no, beer <laughs> no bird feeder for the same reason, or beard feeders, but a bird bath is great. Also perches for birds. And all this should be done using native species. Why native species? Glad you asked. Number one, they're better for the environment. They won't spread out and crowd out native plants because they are native plants. Number two, low maintenance. These plants are adapted to the local climate already, so they need less watering and should mostly take care of themselves. I think it's important that as humans take up more and more resources in space as our cities expand, that we provide space for animals to live alongside of us. I found a local guide to native garden plants. This space gets partial to full sun and the soil drainage is good, so I need species that are okay with being dry and hot. Let's look up some of those plants from the list. Okay, so we chose Climbing Prairie Rose to climb up the fence in the back. It's got pretty pink flowers and a strong scent and should attract butterflies and bees. Awesome! In front of that is a flower bed. We chose False Sunflower, which should come back each year with bright yellow flowers that will attract butterflies and bees. I remember a big bush of yellow flowers in the house where I grew up, so it would be nice to bring that into this space. I learned that a variety of flowers is really good for bees, so we're going to plant a wildflower mix. I hope birds will like a space with so many flowers, but I will also install wooden perches and a bird bath so birds can drink and bathe. I hope you're inspired to start or improve your garden this year. It's a little bit of work to get going, but if you choose native plants, it won't be a lot of work to enjoy the beautiful view and help animals at the same time. So get out there and connect with nature! I'll post an update in two weeks to let you know how it's going. In the meantime, you can watch another video on this channel, or subscribe to see when future videos come out. Thanks for stopping by.